with Pro Sport Fisher and I'm out here at Northwest Fly Fishing Outfitters and uh, today we're just going to put together a quick fly for you. We're going to do the fish mover and uh, we're going to take it off the shank and you know the, the standard way it comes from Montana Fly Company is a shank fly with wire and it's a fairly heavy fly for deep fast riffles. This is tube fly version is just going to be a little bit more versatile version of. So with that we'll get going. This is a classic medium and classic large. I've already made a little heat well bump and whipped them together with this gel spun thread. So from here, just put a couple turns with a whip finish on it. And we'll just save the gel spun for putting more tubes together later. Let's switch out to a black 6 ox and cover up what we just did. And fish mover is pretty easy to tie. It's not a lot of materials, and um, it's just kind of repeating balls with different color saddle hackle and different color ostriches. So we'll put this one together for you. You can see how it's made. This is a uh, cactus chenille. A couple turns, two or three, maybe three on the rear ball. Two on the segments. We'll put on a couple turns of orange saddle hackle here. This is just going to help along with the chenille ball to prop those ostrich pieces we put in. Lock those in there. This will be the next product we go with is a hot orange MFC premium ostrich. And if you guys haven't tied it with this stuff, give it a shot. It's really nice stuff. It's vary a little bit, 11 to 13 inches in length, and the pieces will vary from medium to fairly long. And we're going to use about six pieces for tie-in. Tire side, two soft wraps, and a little wiggle to splay it. Over the top, two wraps and a splay. I'll spin the needle 180 in the vise so I can get to the far side a little easier. Okay, so my side, far side, top, and we've seen this trick before if you watch any of these pro tube time videos. Unwrap the six wraps holding everything, and we'll put some locking wraps forward, 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 back, 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 forward, back. Step one done. Now we're going to repeat with red. I think you tie this thing just with a smaller medium dumbbell. 
find that it'll still catch fish. It's easier to get this fly on the tube inside. It's not quite as heavy. A little easier to cast. Fish seem to like it just the same. Okay, so red, orange, purple, black. So we'll go with the orange saddle. A little shorter than the orange one. A few less turns of that stuff on there. Red saddle. Did I say something else? Red saddle after the orange. Fold those a bit. One, two, three. Three to four turns in there. No flash in this fly. The flash is built into the chenille. You'll see it. As the flies will go in the water, you'll see a little glints here and there. Standard red ostrich for the next set. This one. It's just, we're not going to use that, just save that for a fly that may need the long stuff, but I'm going to pick one that's a little bit shorter. There we go. Look at that. So on the shanked version, the rear ostrich is the longest. We want this stuff a little bit shorter. So this technically it's 55 millimeters, that's how MFC ties it, and then the front ones are 45. And then the chenille ball will help space the ostrich so that they're not gonna be all the same length and clumped together when they get wet. So we'll just shorten those up a little bit. And then it gets a little bit different length via the chenille ball and hackle. really soft placing wraps. That one's played really easy. Okay, now in the shank version, the second red ball has six on the side, six on the side, then there's another ball here, and the red will go top and bottom, so there's two reds in the middle. Then we go chenille ball, and then purple with a black rabbit. For the tube fly version, a little easier to cast, we're just gonna go one orange, one red, one purple. So we're gonna stop that red one right there instead of doing the second set. I just went up and over 180 degrees slightly shortens the profile of the fly and allows this to be fished in I think more water conditions and even into lower water, normalized water, shallow fast riffles, all that stuff.
and this is one of those hackles that the stem doesn't want to behave it wants to twist just work with it don't fight it there we go and then black uh, purple with bar black barring or you can just go straight purple with this And the last one we're going to go all the way around. Six. bottom side so I'll flip it back upright same deal to lock them in I think when you unwind these it just lets them breathe and it, once you tighten them back down we get those all caught forward forward back back forward forward back back and then the stuff just looks like it was hackled in which is a really cool effect all right so now we've got the last couple of things that's a standard medium dumbbell you could go small um, and then we're going to take a little bit of rabbit and finish off the neck as a hackle. And that's just on a 5,000 stainless steel wire dubbing brush. You can make these, you can buy them. And this just makes it much easier to cast and putting the rabbit on with the leather. But if you must, go cross cut and you can hackle that. Spinny. These are really easy to lock down to tubes too, much easier than shanks. Alright, so the dumbbells are on. Let's do some making sure here. Okay. Just pop off just a hair so you can see a little bit of wire so you know you're getting a good tie-in point. in that bunny brush one two full turns we're good Press that little wire knob down. And usually I love the zapper gap trip, but trick to uh, 
finish the fly of this rabbit. I don't want to mat it up with the zappa gap, so I'm just going to do a standard whip finish on this. A couple turns. The second one on for some insurance. Trim the nose of that fly. Be right back. Do a little heat burnish. There you go, fish mover on a tube. Now keep in mind we got a fairly long junction here if you want to slide the hook right in the back a size one or two will pull right in the back of this um, large classic if you want to tie a loop knot that'll help stiffen it if you want the fly to sink a little bit better just trim some of that off get rid of some of the plastic and it'll sink a little bit better but there you go loop knot or just a clinch knot and pull the hook inside thanks for taking a look